But it's not all bad news. Oh, wait, it is. I- I'm not telling tales out of school here. <laughs> Latin people think Latin X is fucking retarded. It is. Okay. But apparently, leftoids didn't get the memo because now they have Philippine X. All right, hang on. And All right. San Diego Comic Con, really? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let, let, let's let's just be honest here. Wow. So we have all of the Romance languages, which is like Italian, French, Spanish. Uh, what are some other ones that have male and female? Uh, Italian. Yeah. Yeah, they, they all have masculine and feminine yeah. verbiage. So these people who suffer from a mental illness want everyone to go along with their mental illness yep. and relearn language that is thousands of years old. Yep. Okay. I remember, you remember that video off. that we did? Um, we responded to it. It was called 36 Questions Women Have for Men. And then we answered, we did 36 Answers Men Have for Women. And one of them was, when did words get gendered? Since forever. Uh, Latin- that's why we, ha- yeah, that's why we have words like men and women, masculine and feminine. Uh-huh. That's why there's only two genders. That's why there are languages that are literally constructed around the idea of masculine and feminine verbiage and nouns. Yes. And so, like, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, are you a complete fucking retard, or do you just play one on TV? Well, I mean, that's what I'm trying, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say here, is a <laughs> lot of these people out there are intelligent, but they're lazy, and they choose to be stupid. Or they are deliberately attempting to manipulate things as a means to an end. I would say there are some people that do that. The people in Congress, yeah. absolutely, fucking literally because they don't believe in this shit. No, they don't. They just know that it's a useful tool for dividing people. That's all they care about. And they think that if they divide us up into smaller and smaller groups, hopefully, if they promise enough free shit, they'll manage to, uh, you know, get together 51% of those groups. Yep. Because they're idiots. And it's totally working because, you know, the Latin community is totally buying it. Mm. <laughs> But here it is, Philippine X, which honestly sounds like something that you would use to to catch your dribbles after some uh, some way hey hey if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hey, hey honey, could you hand me some Philippine X? You, you know I dribble. Unless you want to suck it from the tap. You want to come over here? No, I know that face. Give me a Philippine X. I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm I just can't so put the Philippine X voices in pop culture with a fun and educational all Philippine X panel discussing Philippine X influences. They had to put it on there three times. Yeah, no pun intended. But only in the Western world are they doing this. The, like the yeah. normal, like second and third world, uh, you know, countries that speak wow. Spanish, they don't agree with this at all. They think it's absolutely ludicrous. No, they ludicrous. don't. And don't take our word for it. Boom. There is a Twitter account called Latin X is Racist, and this is one of the tweets here. You can tell by my username that I can't stand Latin X. It's racist, full stop. It's white U.S. liberals changing a language they largely don't speak, while those who do speak it are often brown people. It's the kind of racism white liberals always get away with. I am not going to say that that man is wrong. Goodness said it better myself. It's exactly what it is. It's yep. straight up racism. Yeah. If you ever want to see some some real savage takedown stuff, look up Malcolm X's opinion on the white liberal, and uh, just make yourself some microwave popcorn because it's entertaining as fuck. <laughs> and it's it's going to take a while to get through that one. Oh, it's not even that long of a of a of a quote. No, we read it on the show once, and it was Chef's Kiss delicious. <laughs> But the, the funny thing is the leftoids still think they can claim Malcolm X as one of their own. He fucking hated the left. Yeah, but the thing is, is they live in their echo chamber. Yep. They don't know how the real world works. Yeah, they think that conservatives were responsible for the Triple K Foundation. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> nope. It's and absolutely incorrect. That is totally the Democrats' wheelhouse. And guess what? Not much has changed. And Yeah, you know, the Democrats, they what they kicked up... Uh, the KKK. Yep. They started all the Jim Crow horse shit. Yep. They're all about gun control because they wanted to keep guns out of the minority, out of the hands of the minorities. Yep. All right. They blocked 
for almost a hunt was a what 60 70 years after the civil war anybody the civil rights act yeah well no it, they would not elect any any minority as a yeah. senator or a house representative yeah the first blacks elected to congress were all republican and they were elected in the 1800s we didn't have a black democrat elected to congress until i think the 1930s 1930s or 40s or something like that yeah but yeah i mean it, it's so stupid and then the fact that people believe that you know that somehow the right is you know this horrible you know white supreme pizza it is fucking unbelievable well it's psychological projection because think about well, it well it's psyops yeah well the left is all about the minorities allegedly but when you actually listen to what they say and their reasoning behind it it's either racism of low expectations overt racism or just, just flat out psychological projection <clears throat> Yep. They they know they're the racist, which is why they they virtue signal so much. And you know, and I love it when they're like, "Well, you can't, you don't have opinion because you're speaking from a position of power." Yeah, yeah. Okay. No uterus, no opinion. Right. I can't. I cannot be racist because I I don't have institutional power. All right. <laughs> All right. That's the dumbest shit ever. That's part of this meaning creep that we're going to be getting yes. into in during just a minute. I mean, it's it's all mission creep. Yep. They start off with they get their foot in the door. And then it's fucking boom, 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 boom. And then it's, you know, kill your kid yeah. 28 days after birth. And what's hilarious is that when you actually look at the world, you know, because we're, we're talking about, you know, people who would prefer to have a nationalist identity, which is okay if you live in Ukraine, but not if you live in the United States, FYI, yeah. versus globalists, okay? And on a global scale, whites are the minority. They're an extreme the minority. vast minority. Yes. We just happen to be pretty fucking productive, and we know how to blow up the world when we get pissed off. Well, we've his, done it twice. Historically <laughs> speaking, uh, I believe the Caucasian started as a, su a super minority thousands of years ago. Yeah. And quite literally, we've taken over the fucking world. Why that is, I don't know. Well, people who are disadvantaged mm -hmm. can either wham, wham, cry, baby, give me money, or they can rise to the fucking challenge and make this world their bitch. Well, Clearly, we did the latter. Well, what I'm seeing, saying is when you look at the IQ scale, we are like at the upper middle yep. of the bell curve. We are not, as a race of people, you know, uber yeah. intelligent or anything like that. So... How we were able to... I mean, we do better than some people. Yes, we do. But you can't bring that up on YouTube. <laughs> no, no, and you know Because what? science is sexist and wasteless now. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe we're just more cunning. Maybe. And we, we, we are all about age and treachery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, why this has all happened, I don't know, but all you got to do is pick up a history book and read it for yourself. Yeah. It's been going on for thousands of fucking years. Yeah, and I mean real history books, not the shit that they teach you in school. Yeah. Because according to the shit that they teach you in school, whites were the only ones who ever enslaved anybody. Even Never mind the fact that they were, you know, the Africans who came over here were sold into slavery by Arabs and Africans. Yes. And where slavery still exists in the world. In fact, there are more slaves today than ever in recorded human history. They're all either in China, Africa, or the Middle East. Yeah, listen, um, slavery is basically um, a crime of convenience. Yeah. And it holds back civilizations. It does. It does. Now, and that's why the 1619 Project only gathers steam in brainwashing centers. Uh -huh. Because anybody who actually takes the time to think about it, they're like, well, so, so what you're saying is slavery is how the United States became a superpower. And yet we didn't really become a superpower until almost 100 years after slavery ended. And there are countries on this planet that still have slavery who are third world nations. Yeah. And they have no upward mobility at all. None. None. You have, which is what the globalists want, you've got the people at the tippy top, and then you've got serfs, and that's it. That's okay. what slavery has gotten them. Yeah. The Ottoman Empire. 
mm-hmm. heavy slavery for thousands of years, and it and it was held together by cobwebs and tape for the past for the last two hundred years of its existence. Yeah, it could not keep up with the rest of the world fi- uh, financially. Yep, and just like many mass murdering fuckheads of the past, present, and future, Paul Pot killed many millions and. I, I believe he died under house arrest. Did he? That's a shame. Or died in his bed. It was one or the other. Pol because Pot? Stalin died in bed. Yeah. <laughs> died in his sleep. It, it's, uh, Eddie Izzard had it absolutely right when he was talking about It's like, okay, so you kill one person, that's murder. You go to jail. You kill 10 people. You go to Texas. They hit you with a brick. That's what they do. You, you kill over 20 people. They put you into a room in an I love me coat, and they stare at you at a small window, through a small window forever. And over that, we just can't deal with it. Somebody's killed 100,000 people. We're almost like, well done. Well done. <laughs> you killed 100,000 people? You must get up very early in the morning. I can't even get down the gym. That's some efficiency, <laughs> man. Uh. Your diary must look all oh, death, 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 lunch. Death, 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 afternoon tea. Death, 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 quick shower. <laughs> uh, death, death, death. Warm, warm down. <laughs> death, death, death. Stick it in a bowl of warm soup. No, wait, that's Kamala. Cross that out. <laughs> warm down. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. It is, it is. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar. 